Hello everyone. So, we will continue with compression bandage. In last class, we have discussed different uh, measurement principles for compression exerted by bandages and their limitations. Okay. Now, we will start with few commercially available instruments which are used for measurement of compression pressure. The Kikuhaim is one of such commercially successful measurement technique. This is a simple robust and cost effective method which provides accurate compression measure compression value. So, this is one sensor which is on which the bandage is wrapped and the pressure value is sensed with the help of a pressure sensor and we can get the pressure value at any time. Another system which is known as the pico press, the pico press is a pneumatic system which is actually filled with ultra thin ultra flat probe. Air is electronically inflated that the probe is electronically inflated by a syringe. So, electronically controlled syringe which inject air in the, the probe calibration can be done and the data of pressure can be stored and this sensor the, they can send signal directly to the, the computer. So, this data can be stored in a device memory and then transferred to a computer. So, we will get the total pressure profiling pressure pressure during the application of the bandage in real time. So, the problem of hard surface is not here, the sensor is actually applied on the body and then bandage is wrapped. So, actual pressure during the bandage application we can get air sensor is another device works on the air field system. So, the air field sensor is a small air field device it is a it works a similar principle as that in pico press or Kikuhaim. The sensor has the sponge filling used to maintain the shape of the device. So, that is a that there will be a sponge filling the shape does not change as it is a flexible and also while applying on the patient surface there should not be any discomfort sensation. So, that is why soft sponge filling is there. The force sensor is another measurement technique which works on the piezoelectric principle. The force sensor operates on the principle that the resistance of silicon implanted piezo resistor will increase as we increase the compression load. So, after this commercially available sensors, there are different approaches to develop the compression measurement systems on soft surface not on actual human limb or leg or hand because the limitation is here that we cannot study we can get the value of compression but if we want to study the effect of various parameters we need to have one instrument 
and for long time if you want to measure the pressure profiling. So, there are three approaches in measurement systems one is that based on manometer the pressure is measured based on manometer next approach was the fully computerized instrument to measure the pressure the difference between these two are and the manometer based system we can measure the the instantaneous pressure but if we try to study the pressure profiling over long time say uh, one day 24 hours or maybe 48 hours then manometer based system will not give the correct result we will not be able to get data because constantly the pressure will change and monitoring will be difficult for that if we get the pressure sensor and the the sensor is connected with the computer then we will get the value in continuous fashion for long time. So, if you want to study the pressure for long time for longer duration say 24 hours then we need to, to monitor the pressure continuously and these two systems were basically for static mode that means there is no movement of limbs. So, during static test we can use both manometer or fully computerized system, but if we want to study the dynamic pressure profiling. So, then we have to use another system that is dynamic pressure measurement system. In dynamic pressure measurement system we can have different parameters like suppose someone is walking or running to simulate this walking. So, if it is running uh, walking fast whether it is walking slow that change in the cycle rate of cycle it should be possible here and also we may find that the different person will have different hardness of their limbs or also during walking or standing there will be expansion and contraction of the muscle that simulation is required. So, this dynamic measurement principle we can simulate this the muscle expansion and contraction and their effect on the actual pressure profiling for longer time and sometime it may also happen someone is putting the steps in smaller span or if you are trying to put the longer span the longer distance that also can be simulated using this equipment. So, I will discuss all three systems separately and the research studies carried on these systems one by one. So, let us first we will we will start with the manometer based principle. So, in all these three system the basic principles are that to develop or to simulate the limbs similar to our body and here to develop an instrument capable of measuring pressure developed by the bandage on the limb and here to study different factors which affect the bandage pressure and then we have developed computerized system and 
then at dynamic mode we have studied. So, all these steps we will discuss here. First, the pressure measurement system based on manometer. Here, the approach we have actually adopted is that the pressure changes in the fluid on application of an external pressure. Now, the basic approach here was adopted. Suppose this is a bladder, bladder. Now, once we fill the bladder with air, and if we know the internal pressure P1. P1 we can measure by measuring the air pressure here that we can measure that is P1 we are measuring. Now, let us try to apply external pressure. And after external pressure application, the pressure is here it is P2 and the difference between P2 and P1 is actually the pressure which we have applied from outside. This is the basic principle. So, delta P is the actual pressure exerted by the bandage. If we try to apply pressure using the bandage, then what we will do? We will wrap the bandage. Suppose we are wrapping the bandage along this by certain tension we are wrapping and that due to the wrapping it will the pressure will increase to P 2 and this the increased pressure delta P is the actual pressure applied by the bandage. This is a simple principle we have adopted in this equipment. Now, here what we have done let us say that we have taken one limb. Okay. Now, here the wooden limb we have taken and there are some grooves were created this is similar. Then what we have done we have taken a bladder flat bladder long this is a bladder one side is Okay, it is blocked in another side there will be two openings. Two openings are there. Now, in one of the openings this is connected to the pump air pump. So, this will actually fill the bladder with the air that will get expanded like this and here this side is connected with the manometer. And this will measure the pressure applied. Now, in the flat condition this bladder is wrapped here. Wrapped one single wrap was made only single wrap and it is fixed on the this surface. 
Now, depending on our the hardness of our body part, we can insert the air. This we will discuss. I am now discussing the principle. The air we are inserting and the here the manometer. We are measuring the pressure and air is the inlet is the air we have pumped in the air and it has generated certain pressure and that P 1 pressure P 1 pre initial pressure this is initial pressure initial pressure P 1 which simulates the our body limb hardness which is soft here it is soft we are not wrapping on the hard surface. Then we are trying to wrap the actual bandage the green color bandage we have taken. So, we are wrapping so, we may so we are wrapping the bandage along this there are different ways of wrapping like different overlap we can vary number of wrap we can vary even the mode of wrapping from top to bottom or bottom to top this we have studied in detail. So, once we are wrapping the bandage the pressure has increased to P 2 because of the extra pressure applied by the bandage. So, that manometer is now recording pressure P 2. So, to get the value actual value of pressure exerted by the bandage. So, P 2 minus P 1 this is called excessive pressure excessive pressure means the pressure exerted actual pressure exerted by the bandage. So, here we have actually eliminated different drawbacks with the piezoelectric sensor or strain gauge or Laplace law because here we are applying pressure on the soft surface and for research purpose for long term data acquisition we need this type of instrument. The principle we have just discussed the pressure changes in the fluid on application of an external pressure bladders are inflated with air at a particular pressure depending on our body hardness and then the bandage bandages are wrapped over the bladder at a particular tension <coughs> required tension. The wrapping exerts some additional pressure on the bladder which is duly observed by changes in pressure by the manometer. So, that manometer gives that instantaneous value that will give us idea about the pressure applied by the bandage. So, by calculating the difference between two pressures we can calculate the actual pressure exerted by the bandage as I have just mentioned these are the photographs I have just shown there is a groove there are two portions just to simulate the wrapping at the knee and wrapping at the ankle portion here at knee this is the circumference is high here circumference is low and this is we can see here it is a curved portion the bladder is placed on the curved portion here. So, that the structure of this is not simple cylindrical it is there is a curb also incorporated that we will see the effect of this curb here it is a cylindrical portion 
and we will see that we can see here one is inlet for pressure another is for the manometer this bladder is wrapped here this is a flat bladder and then it is wrapped on the this groove here we can see here this is manometer it is at a knee zone bladder 2 bladder 1 in ankle zone and hand pump is used here the hand pump using hand pump we can control the initial pressure. So, there are two hand pumps one is for knee another is for ankle and we can use webcam just to know the pressure record the pressure here if we want to do for long time, but for longer duration measurement the accuracy is doubtful here, but still we can try and webcam is directly connected with the computer from we can record the, the pressure. These are the, the actual photograph of the system through manometer we can record the pressure and webcam is mounted here to see the uh, height of this meniscus. Now, pressure profiling here, the parameters which we can measure are the effect of bandage width we have measured, effect of wrapping direction, limb hardness, effect of overlap, what is the overlap? Because normally in bandaging, the bandage width is smaller than the affected width and if we need suppose if we apply the 100 percent overlap that means we cannot move from one place to another place. So, for that there are different level of overlaps recommended that may be 50 percent 75 percent overlaps are recommended. So, that effect of overlap we have um, studied and uh, the bandage structure whether the bandage uh, the long stretch bandage or short stretch bandage those bandage structures are studied stiff bandage or heavy bandage light bandage and the test parameters are basically instantaneous bandage width effect of bandage width when, when we have measured we have measured the instantaneous measurement wrapping direction it was instantaneous limb hardness instantaneous and time profiling overlap also instantaneous and time profiling we have measured a bandage structure we have measured instantaneous and also time profiling. In this study we have taken three different bandages with the construction ends per inch peaks per inch is given 24, 22. These bandages are commercially available bandages with mass per unit area and peak load this is these are the different. So, if we see this bandage it is a peak load and here the mass per unit area is less and this bandage was uh, the stretchable bandage and whereas, this B bandage is stiffer bandage with the higher mass per unit area. Bandage B is stiffer and bandage C is flexible bandage. Now, try to see here effect of bandage width as has already been discussed if we increase the bandage width the pressure exerted instantaneous pressure exerted will reduce. Now, we can see here bandage type C was used here for this test which is flexible one with 7.5 centimeter and 15 centimeter 
all other parameters were kept constant, the internal pressure was measured with two layers. So, two layers were that layers were fixed, two layers of wrapping and 50 percent overlap during winding as in bandage width we have measured instantaneous compressional value. So, instantaneous test it is not time profiling. So, here from this figure it is clear that the bandage width 7.5 centimeter width is giving higher pressure compression pressure than the wider bandage and it is true for both the knee zone and in the ankle zone. This is the knee zone and this is ankle zone. Bandage type C was used for the wrapping direction. So, here it is a effect of wrapping direction keeping all other parameters constant. Two different wrapping directions were used from bottom to top and top to bottom. This is bottom to top and here is top to bottom. The internal pressure was measured with single layer here we have measured with a single layer and with 50 percent overlap. Single layer is because we have only crossed from top to bottom or bottom to top that is a single layer with a 50 percent overlap. It is basically we can say it is a single wrap only one way wrapping. So, what we have seen here with the style change pressure exerted at the knee does not change. So, whether we change which is knee means it is close to knee it is not actually at the knee portion which is cylindrical zone simple cylindrical shape. So, whether we apply the bandage from top to bottom or bottom to top the that does not affect the instantaneous pressure it remains same, but in case of ankle we can see bottom to top gives higher pressure than top to bottom. The pressure value changes and this change in pressure value mainly due to the complex structure complex structure it is a curved structure. So, for this type of structure in the curved structure top to bottom means it is a basically close to bottom main portion is at the top. So, from top to bottom if when we see it has dropped suddenly because the at the start we have started with the top as it was going and but when once it is reaching at the curved portion suddenly pressure was reduced. So, with the change in wrapping direction pressure exerted on the knee does not change however, the pressure on ankle was found to change. So, the reason as I have mentioned the probable explanation is that the top to bottom configuration the bandage is not able to grip the ankle so top to bottom the band bandage is not able to grip the ankle so ankle region properly that is why suddenly it has dropped. So, while bandaging the complex zone with the complex profile we must be careful in applying the proper tension. Now, coming to effect of limb hardness limb hardness is it is very difficult to measure we know that someone is with higher limb hardness and other may have softer limb, but getting actual value it is very difficult. So, what has been tried here we have taken the thickness at different pressure of the limb a series of tests were done on SDL thickness gauge to find out the optimum pressure to be filled in the air bladder. So, air bladder 
pressure initial pressure it which shows the limb hardness and here just to get idea we have taken finger as the zone. So, for this the resilience of human limb in this case a finger was obs it is observed under different applied pressure. So, this is the for a person one we have carried out with wide range of the person of different uh, age group among the students even uh, professors. Now, we can see here with the increase in pressure from 20 gram per square centimeter to 200 gram per square centimeter there is a change in pressure here it is 10.91 percent that change in pressure shows the the limb hardness how the the body part get compressed with the pressure a person 2 is giving 8.22 percent change person 3 it is 10.65 so we have got so 10.91 8.22 10.65 these are the typical values so from there if we take for 3 person we have got the average of 9.92 percent in this case if we take the average. Now, again we have carried out study on bladder. We have filled bladder at different pressure manually by hand pump and tested again in SDL thickness tester and we found that at pressure internal pressure initial pressure of 55 millimeter Hg the compression is around 9.92 percent. So, in that way we came into conclusion that if we apply the internal pressure of 55 millimeter Hg that will typically simulate our body hardness. So, we have tried to keep that pressure this average value. So, at least we will get some idea. So, this is the basic uh, uh, assumption on this basis what we have done we have used two hardnesses one is softer than that and harder than that softer than 55 millimeter Hg that is we have taken 50 millimeter Hg pressure another we have taken harder for with a 60 millimeter Hg. So, within that range we have kept we wanted to study the, the limb hardness. So, with the 50 and 62 hardnesses we have taken 55 was assumed it is average ok. The, the, the study was carried out with bandage C at constant tension and with 15 centimeter width the initial bladder pressure was changed to suitable value just to simulate the body hardness as I have mentioned it is a 60 millimeter Hg and 50 millimeter Hg pressures were kept. Now, effect of limb hardness at knee and we have measured at ankle also. So, at knee as the hardness of the limb increases that is measured by bladder pressure the pressure being applied by the bandage increases at knee that is important. Keeping the tension and bandage width and all other parameters constant as we keep on increasing the limb hardness it will start increasing the compression bandage applied compression for same bandage which is due to the fact that the inward pressure exerted by bandage the resistance offered by harder surface will be more because of the less flexibility for due uh, to deformation than the soft body. So, soft body surface will try to get contracted get deformed that is why it will not 
apply high pressure. Thus, a person with hard limb, lower amount of tension would be advisable at knee. So, we must know the limb hardness, otherwise keeping all this parameter for parameter same for hard uh, body muscle will unnecessarily apply higher pressure. However, at the ankle the reverse is true which may be due to different in difference in curvature between knee and ankle. So, in ankle what has been observed it is a the reverse trend and the curvature at ankle is entirely different. It is also evident that the pressure loss is much higher in case of hard limb than in soft limb. So, when we try to monitor the drop in pressure in the hard limb, the pressure drop due to relaxation in the structure of compression bandage is more than the soft limb and this is due to the fact that the stress is much at higher hard limb than the soft limb. So, due to stress relaxation in case of hard limb it is more. So, we can see the reduction in pressure for 50 millimeter that that means soft limb it is around uh, 8 6 to 8 percent whereas, for harder limb with 60 millimeter Hg pressure that is both in knee and ankle this is very high. 64 percent 49 percent. From this table we can also see the level of reduction in pressure is less in case of ankle for both 50 millimeter and 60 millimeter hardness of limb and this is due to the, the curvature. Now, the effect of bandage overlap. So, with the increase in overlap the pressure exerted increases in both knee and the ankle. So, here we can see the overlap is 25 percent, 50 percent and 75 percent overlap. So, as we go on increasing the overlap the pressure exerted becomes high because with the increase in overlap the more and more threads are coming into picture picture. So, the fabric layers are coming into picture that is why the pressure exerted increases since the three fourth overlap that is 75 percent overlap structure gives a maximum pressure for the same level of tension it appears to be the best mechanism of wrapping of bandage. Why do we need overlap that I have already explained? We cannot have 100 percent overlap, then we will not be able to spread the bandage on larger area. So, we need overlap, but from this experiment it is it appears that that 75 percent overlap is the best to impart pressure on our limb. But we can see the time profile. If we see the time profile that means, with the time how the pressure drop pressure changes that means, how the pressure is reduced with the time due to relaxation in the structure. This result it is showing 3 fourth that means, 75 percent overlap this is at the ankle, this is knee and this one is at the ankle. So, at knee and ankle although initial pressure was very high, but pressure retention with three fourth overlap that is 75 percent overlap is not that good. Whereas, the 50 percent overlap although initial pressure was less the 
pressure retention was better. So, initial pressure we can always change by changing the bandage width, changing the tension, but the pressure retention it depends on the overlap here. So, that is why the 75 percent overlap which earlier we it was expected based on instantaneous value it is not recommended. On the other hand we can recommend that 50 percent overlap is good to retain the pressure for long time that is why it is recommended to have 50 percent overlap instead of 75 percent overlap. Now, coming to the effect of bandage structure again the same three bandages were used here bandage C is having lower peak load and lower mass per unit area whereas, bandage B higher mass per unit area and higher peak load and this is stiffer bandage and bandage C is flexible bandage. So, at the same tension level and keeping the method of wrapping same bandage B shows highest instantaneous initial pressure at ankle at the knee while bandage C shows highest instantaneous pressure at ankle. This is very important bandage B which is stiffer one keeping all other parameters constant this is giving highest pressure at ankle at the knee zone where the structure is smooth or uniform structure cylindrical structure, but once we try to wrap at the curved portion the bandage B is not giving that high pressure instead the flexible bandage is giving higher pressure at the ankle. This is basically due to the flexibility it can adapt the complex structure of the body part. So, complex contour. So, that is why if we have to use the compression bandage in the complex contour of our body we must go for the flexible bandage which will match the complex contour of the ankle or any body part. On the other hand for the simple body contour we can go for the stiffer bandage. So, bandage B developed maximum pressure at the knee zone that is below the knee which is cylindrical zone and it can be seen from the table that table that it has heaviest construction that is maximum mass per unit area maximum thickness and developed maximum peak load. So, heavy structure we must use in the simplest construction this suggests that when a body contours are easy that is radius of curvature is high as in case of knee then the bandage with similar profiles that similar properties like uh, heavier and the thicker can be used. Bandage C develops the maximum pressure at ankle also has the lowest load development criteria and that is why it is giving the highest higher pressure at the complex zone. So, this confirms that the extreme body contour that is complex body contour very small ready of curvature a flexible structure develops more pressure than any other structure. Also the bandage C has the maximum pressure relaxation values amongst the all three bandages for both ankle and the knee. So, bandage C if we see as it is a flexible one it actually relaxes. So, pressure drop in bandage C is more in case of the in ankle it is 
5 percent and in knee 63 percent. This suggests that the stiffer bandage is useful for retaining the pressure. So, this confirms that the bandage with low load development that is peak load results in higher pressure relaxation. Therefore, implying the that the higher load development that is peak load bandage should be used. As far as pressure relaxation is concerned, this the instrument which we have already used uh, discussed that was based on manometer and typically we can measure the, the instantaneous value and discrete value of pressure drop. But if we try to measure the pressure profiling constantly, then we must use instead of manometer, we must use the pressure gauge. So, air pressure gauge is used here. So, 9 different bandages with different structural parameters were used here. Bandages were wrapped around the mannequin leg containing air bladder as it is similar to earlier study filled with a particular pressure. Here you can see the pressure exerted by the bandage was measured over a period longer period 24 hours period and the pressure drop over specific period was recorded by differential pressure transmitter. So, that pressure drop was recorded here and this analog reading was fed to analog to digital card converting card and to then to the computer it sent to the computer for recording the digital data. So, we will continue with this system and also in next class we will discuss different experimental studies carried out on this instrument along with another system for measuring the pressure profiling during the movement condition that is the active condition in dynamical condition that at different level of uh, movement that we will discuss. Till then thank you. Thank you.